Hey guys, Fickard here, and today's video is a really interesting one. So, on Reddit, there's a Reddit post on the leaked armor pieces for the Vault of Glass, uh, presumably Year 3 Vault of Glass returning the updated armor pieces. Now, uh, obviously, you could speculate this is fake because a leak like this has come before and people have debunked it and it, it was fake. I've actually made a video on that. Uh, I'll actually link my, my video in the description on my speculation whether Vault of Glass is, is, com is or isn't coming back and really evidence for why it is mainly. But anyway, I'm going to try and keep this video short because I've uploaded two videos today. If you want to check out my previous video, uh, an overview of the weekly update and some speculation, I'll link that as well. Basically, I'll link a few videos that I think you guys should watch. But anyway, so on Reddit, uh, on the screen now, is a small screenshot of the Reddit post. Uh, congratulations to NFS Gaming who, who actually actually found this. So uh, the list you can see on screen right now is the list of all the armor pieces uh, per class. No weapons actually. So Titan is face guard of Kaber, Kaber's defending grasp, Kaber's might, and Kaber's life giving treads. And for the warlock, Crowl of the Heathen Lords, Grips of the Heathen Lords, Robe of the Heathen Lords, Boots of the Heathen Lords. And for the Hunter, Mantix Elliot Helm, Mantix Elliot Gloves, Mantix Elliot Cuirass, and Mantix Elliot, Mantix Elliot Greaves. Sorry, it's a bit of a tongue twister. So, uh, I will have an image on screen that I didn't actually um, take myself. Because uh, at the moment I'm having some PC troubles, I'm always having PC troubles, I know. I did take the screenshot from Violent Privilege Gaming. I will post his channel in the description. He did quite a good video on this. Uh, a few hours ago, so uh, I did actually just take his layout of all these images that you can see on screen right now, and it's really interesting. So, if this isn't enough evidence already for the raids coming back, I don't know what is. Uh, whether or not this is true, we will see. I will keep you updated on Twitter. If you actually follow me on Twitter, it's on screen now. You'll get regular updates, not just when my videos are coming out, but what's going on in the Destiny universe. And I also like to to retweet other YouTubers when they're going live on Twitch. Uh, or when they've uploaded a video, or whenever they have an announcement to make, things like that. So just keeping you updated in the Destiny community, really. And so, with the screenshot, uh, you, you can see the arm pieces, whether or not it's true is, is a different story. I think it's been discovered through data mining, which is very rare on a console game, which is it's going to be tricky when Destiny's on PC, we'll see a lot of data mining. But we did at one point, which I'll put on the screen as well, I might as well, why not, we had an old screenshot of... Um, the weapons that would be coming back for uh, the Vault of Glass remastered, I'm just going to call them remastered, returning, and Crow to Zen remastered, I'll put them on screen, and also a few screenshots of the Vault of Glass at a certain light level. Now, it was argued uh, that these were false. Now, to me, they look very realistic. I don't know how they were debunked. I don't ever remember like any official evidence coming out, because let's not forget the rest of the community, a lot of people were saying that the Rise of Iron picture was fake and it turned out that wasn't fake so let's all just jump on this bandwagon every single time someone comes out that it's either fake someone's lying or or you know it, it's blindly real let's look at the evidence here so we have a track record in this community of a lot of fake things happening but we also have a lot of a lot of credibility right anytime there's a screenshot of something I don't believe it but every time there's a picture of something from someone's phone I'm more inclined to believe it for example Rise of Iron wasn't actually the piece of artwork it was someone taking a picture of the artwork from a cell phone or from a, a, an a average camera or something and with the last two leaks we've had of an actual picture of someone loading in to the vault of glass and also uh, a picture a picture of, a, of um, the, the light level of the raid and things were also taken of a screen which for me actually makes it seem more likely because one, it's harder to manipulate those images and two, if someone was going to make a fake image they'd probably want to make it more professional or they could be a genius and know that people think like this and actually make one that looks more realistic because they have that much time on their hands to piss off the entire community. So really we don't know if this is, is real or not yet. I will link the Reddit post in, in the description. I know if you're on a mobile device, it doesn't seem to be loading the page for me, but on my, on my computer it does. So, you know, make of that what you will. Uh, so yeah, very interesting. Even more reason for me to believe that the, the raids are coming back. I mean, I don't think there's any doubt. I think everyone's kind of believing that the raids are coming back. I mean, if you're not, put in the, put in the, the comments why not. And also because this video has been really short, 
just literally just an information video if you don't follow me on Twitter. The, the more Twitter followers I'll get, the, the less likely it'll be I'll make videos like this. This video is just like, for my because I do have more subscribers, uh, not too many more, but a few more, just to get the news out there, because I like to keep everyone updated in the Destiny universe. But anyway, I just want to thank everyone for the support I've been getting recently. I think the least amount of likes I've had on a video is like... 10 which is which is crazy for me because I'm getting really really high likes to view ratio like I'm on I'm guessing I'm getting an average of like 50 50 views and probably an average of like 12 likes which is quite a good ratio compared to I don't know um you know PewDiePie gets like a bunch of million of views and gets like 100,000 likes but also gets a lot of dislikes Obviously, I'm not comparing myself to PewDiePie, but you know what I mean. It's, it's, it's quite good, especially for someone that's only in their second month of YouTube. I also want to thank for any feedback that you've given, any comments, any likes. Even the one dislike I got was, was nice because I know I did something wrong in that video. And I've identified that and I'm going to try and keep that better. Keep improving. And yeah, so every time you leave a like or dislike, please just tell me. Tell me why, because, you know, it's 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 nice to, to be able to know that... that that people actually care about your content enough to tell you where you're going right or wrong and it helps me improve as well. Uh, I also want to mention that Ghost Recon Wildlands is coming out in March. Now as I've said I'm a 99% Destiny channel and that 1% is normally when the droughts are about and I might have a series called Destiny Drought Fillers every time there's a Destiny Drought I will do a small maybe a couple of videos on a new game, a new release or something or, or a game I'm just interested in. Maybe I'll do it on Rainbow Six Siege, something like that. I've only recently just picked that up in a sale. So, tell tell me if you'd like to see Ghost Recon Wildlands, but don't panic. I'm not leaving Destiny. I might just play it. But I also may not play it, because if you watch my previous video, uh, St. Patrick's Day is March 17th. And now, uh, with the Destiny update, there was a lot of speculation that it could be coming out around St. Patrick's Day, a live event. And Ghost Recon Wildlands is also a March release I believe which means they may clash and I may not get around to uploading gameplay but I'm sure I'll play it. If you want to see that comment but this video went on way longer than it needed to because I was just babbling. Anyway thank you for watching the video guys sorry for the double upload but it was necessary. I'll see you in the next one subscribe for more and give me some feedback to help me improve. Bye bye.